Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the start date that you have selected from the date slicer within Power BI. So whole idea is this that date slicer is moving so if you are changing the start date or the, the when the range is starting if you are changing that then how you can get that selected date that can be something part of the manipulation for example based on that date you want to see the last five day sales or the next five day sales and stuff like that so whole idea is how to start with that and i'll show you that in this video how to achieve it now before i do that just a quick information that this this google sheet which is uh, in which i'm keeping all of my power bi related videos is something present in the video description that way uh, using this link that is present in the description you can come over here and search any of my previously posted videos and if you are looking for let's say guided learning you can create your own curriculum based on that and uh, you know you can get the benefit as the link is also present in the column B so you can do a simple search like control F you can do a filtering uh, and, and filter the videos that you are looking for whole idea is this that uh, you keep it as a bookmark uh, and not like you know where you go to the my youtube channel and search for these videos which is very difficult now along with that i have exercise related videos as well that way if you are looking for any exercise related information then you can do that so i keep updating this sheet make sure you do make sure you have it bookmarked so that when i add more and more information to this you have it handy whenever you need it with that information let me go to the power bi all right so here i am in the power bi and if you see this is the date slicer which is based on this order calendar date so if i select this you will see that this is the date that i am using and if i change the last date this is changing if i am changing the start date it is changing now based on the start date that i am changing which is right now 16th september 2017 this is the one let's say i want to grab right because it is variable as you can see now it is 30th of Jan so I want to select this and uh, for that if I want to do it let me first select the superstore sales and then let me create the new measure and the measure is uh, selected start date and we will call it function which is uh, which is uh, so not the select light latest but the first date if I remember yeah first date okay so first date and then the name of this date so all order calendar and sorry order calendar date right so if i do that and click ok then what you get is the basically the selected start date is calculated right now to view that let me bring the calendar the card the card is over here now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and put it over here. That way the 30th of Jan is coming which I can use it then into further manipulation. Now if I change it you will see that the same date is coming over here. right? So that's the whole idea how you can uh, get this selected information and do the further manipulation as per your needs. With that information, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.